Hey golfers, it's Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. Today I'm going to be focusing on how temperature changes the distance for how far you can hit your driver. I've recently completed a video focusing on a mid-iron and we've come to the conclusion that Trackman is pretty accurate with their claims that for every 10 degree change in temperature, you either gain one yard or you lose one yard. So it's gonna be interesting to test with driver to see if that's pretty close or if there are some larger increases because now we're hitting the ball further. So I'm excited to hit some shots at 20 degrees, 40 degrees, 60 degrees, 80 degrees, and 100 degrees Fahrenheit. And then take a look at some numbers and see if there's any major differences in distance gains or losses. Okay, so we hit four shots with the setting on 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's jump and hit some shots at 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Now keep in mind, not many golfers will probably play at 20 degrees Fahrenheit, but it'd be interesting to see the wide range of 40 degree difference to see how that affects distance. So right off the bat, we noticed that there was a drop in distance. Let's take a look at the numbers really quickly. So we'll see that my club speed, 111.3 for both settings at 20 degrees Fahrenheit and 60 degrees Fahrenheit. So very, very kind of accurate. Pretty similar ball speed, similar smash factor numbers here. Um, so let's look, actually I was hitting a little bit better on the 20 degree Fahrenheit setting, but you will notice that I lost about 10 yards. We went from a total of 310 to a total of 300.8. So a 40 degree change in temperature equated to about a 10 yard loss in distance. So that is about two and a half yards for every 10 degrees in Fahrenheit. Let's hit in different settings and see if that stays pretty consistent across the board. But right off the bat, I'm seeing about two and a half yards for every 10 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, so average club speed was 0.2 miles an hour faster. It was at 111.5, so very, very close. I tried my best, but very, very close overall. But you will notice that the total distance now went to 324.6. So I picked up almost 15 yards. So just a little bit further than I was expecting. So just closer to that three yard mark for every 10 degrees Fahrenheit that we do get more temperature. So Kind of interesting there, we can see the dispersion pattern, very, very consistent across the board. You can see how it's trending up the screen with regards to increasing temperature. So let's, go the, let's test the 40 degree and the 80 degree temperature, and then we'll take a look at, look at all the numbers. Okay, let's take a look and see if there's any trends that we notice with the temperature changes. So first thing, my club speed and ball speed, you'll notice those numbers there were pretty close together. We'll notice we had a range from 111.3 up to 112.0. So within 0.7 miles an hour, so that is going to be a pretty good test overall. If we look at the ball speed, we've got a range from 163.5 to 165.5, we'll notice the 80 degree Fahrenheit, well, I hit better. Isn't that kind of funny? Nice and warmed up at 80 degrees Fahrenheit. No, this is actually temperature controlled inside simulation and using TrackMan. But I think it's kind of funny looking at the dispersion and also looking at the kind of numbers. But no, nope, data is the exact same across the board. I just happened to swing those four swings just a little bit closer together. Um, if only I could say at 80 degrees you can hit it better. But I can't say that because it's not that kind of test. Uh, so we scroll over there to the right there, we'll notice the spin rate numbers, we're talking plus or minus 200. So hit location, launch, all very, very similar. So this is gonna be pretty accurate. So I did say earlier in the video, I said for every 10, 10 degrees Fahrenheit, approximately about two and a half yards. That's what we found when we changed from 
60 degrees to 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, it's kind of interesting. We take a look at 20 degrees Fahrenheit, 300.8. We take a look at 100 degrees Fahrenheit, 324.6. So we are pretty close with regards to that, that estimation there. Very, very close with regards to kind of every 10 degrees Fahrenheit we picked up two and a half. So you can see every 20 degrees of Fahrenheit, it's pretty close to about five yards. So we'll notice for a difference from 20 to 40 was 300.8 to 306.6. From 40 to 60 was 306.6 to 310, 60 to 80, 310 to 317, and then from 80 to 100, 317 to 324. And I was hitting these pretty similar heights. We'll notice the height range from 102 to 111 feet in the air. So pretty accurate, pretty accurate stuff here. Uh, this is really kind of interesting. Basically, those golfers down in Florida in the heat, now keep in mind they are at sea level, so that is definitely another factor, but those players that play in the heat will hit the ball further. For us Minnesotans in the springtime and in the fall when it's, it's cold out in the mornings, we're not going to hit the ball as far in those mornings. So the trends basically hold true. You pick up more distance in higher temperatures and you lose distance in lower temperatures. So I really hope you like this content. Once again, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned for other great content your way in the future. I can't wait to bring it to you. <laughs>